guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video it is going to be a what I bought in Kildare Village Hall and also which shops I think had really great stock, which ones I was like meh, which ones I think you should definitely go to if you are planning a trip to Kildare Village soon. Okay so let's get into the haul. Let's start off with this jumper that I have on now. So this is from Zaldig and Voltaire, one of my, I'm actually going to say my number one favourite brand and I wasn't always a big fan of it because it, it's not very colourful, it's kind of grungy but I'm really starting to like it. Now this jumper has a story attached to it. So I bought this jumper in Sign Brown Thomas ages ago, probably nearly a year ago at this stage, um, because I loved it so much and the security tag was left on it. So I brought it in to get the security tag taken off it. And then I was kind of like, look, I'll exchange it for something else. It was really expensive, it wasn't worth, I didn't think at the time it was worth um, how much it was for a jumper. So I was like, look, I'll exchange it for something else, but I got something else. Then I went back in and I was like, oh, I actually shouldn't have returned it. I really, really like it. Then I started seeing it on other people. Then sure didn't Valentine's Day come in and I was on the hunt for it. Then it was still in Brown Thomas and the price went back up to its original price. And like that price was just lunacy. Like a price I would ne 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 never pay for a jumper. Like not in a million trillion years. Like even the reduced price was like, that is a bit crazy for a jumper. And then sure didn't I see it glaring at me in Kildare Village for mo not as expensive as it was full price but still more than how much it was reduced to originally in Proud Thomas for how I originally for how much I originally paid for it so it was kind of like a lose win a win lose situation I ended up getting it for cheaper than full price but more expensive than I had it bought for already which doesn't make sense but I'm so glad that I got it I absolutely love it their jumpers are brilliant they're super soft cashmere they're the best quality cashmere that I've ever tried I'm not really a big fan of red which we will touch on in a minute in terms of the sunglasses that I have buyer's remorse of and not the usual kind of buyer's remorse as in regretting a purchase this was buyer's remorse but regretting not buying them but anyway we'll talk about that in a while but I'm not usually a fan of red but this is kind of like nearly a juicy orangey red and the cream is just stunning. It's cream and red. Where do I think I'm going wearing it in the summer? I think it'd be nice even with like denim jeans or like denim shorts but I absolutely love it so this was my first purchase. That's the thing about Kilda really you need to go in either with a huge pocket full of cash and ready to spend, 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 spend or else go in with a wish list and if you don't see things there that are on a wish list that you walk out with your hands hanging, your hands in your pockets because I feel like you could go in there it's one of those places where it's very easy to impulse buy because everything's reduced and you're like oh, I kind of need this and I made that mistake the first time I went I was picking up all sorts of things and I was spending fortune I was going home and I was selling half the stuff and everything Whereas everything that I got, I think was more or less like on my wish list of some sort. And that can be really hard when you're going to an outlet because you're like, what are they gonna have? How much is it gonna be? Like there were some things on my wish list that I was hoping I would have gotten that they didn't have. But that's one tip for you. Either go with an empty wardrobe at home and you need to buy everything and anything. So it's like good that you could be impulse buying and picking up random things or else go in and be very strict with yourself and say, if I go in and they don't have what I'm exactly looking for, I'm not getting it. I think it's good if you're going in and you just need something similar. Like if you're just going in looking for a pink dress from any brand, you're going to find one. Well, you're more likely to find one rather than if you were going in like me looking specifically for an All Saints Bal Balfran, Balfran dre um, denim leather jacket with gold zips that was far too specific and because it was new season it was impossible to get whereas I also went in hoping that this would be here very specific and they had it so it's kind of, that's kind of one of the things about outlet shopping. My next purchase I'm gonna say was kind of impulsive to be honest uh, because I love this bag and I have it in silver that I also got in Kildare Village and I knew that I wanted it in a bigger version and I wasn't really that specific on the colour I wanted and like this colour cobalt blue is actually one of my favourite colours to wear which brings me to the point of what I was saying if you have come from my Instagram, you know that I am dying of regret because I didn't get these Celine uh, sunglasses in this colour red. They were kind of like an orangey red sunglass, sunglasses and they were so cool. They were like cat eye and I was like, oh, I never wear red. But they looked so cool that day because I had on my pink and red Hayley Menzies cardigan. And then sure didn't I buy this? Me, I have no red. But anyway, I was talking to one of the lovely sales assistants on Instagram and she said that they used to have it in this exact and like I wear blue a lot and I wear this like clashing print like you know me I love like um, colour blocking I would wear this with this like 
and then the sunglasses are in this colour. So I'm praying, please pray with me, that the sunglasses come in in this colour and like it would just match so well. If not, I'm actually just going to buy the red ones and going to see if they can post them out to me or something. Because I can't live without them. But anyway, this is the larger version. It's in suede, which is really nice. It's really nice and soft. They had some leather ones and patent ones that kind of looked a bit cheap. I wasn't a huge fan of them. I have a silver leather one, but it's really cool. But I think the matte silver ones just didn't do it for me. But this is suede. Um, it's a little bit brighter than my suede All Saints jacket. It's kind of like a bluey navy, but I'm still going to wear the two of them together. Um, one thing though I prefer about my small one is it's on a chain uh, to go over your arm because you know smaller bags are more dressy. Whereas this one has like a leather strap, which I still like, but I just prefer the chain version. Um, but I can't wait to wear this with like denim jeans and stuff. I just love this color and you fit so much in it. And because it's so soft, you can literally pack it to capacity. Like, oh, it's so nice. Anything with fringes, I absolutely love. So this was kind of an impulse buy, but it's at the same time, not really, because I knew I wanted one of these. And this was down from 225 to um, 146. And it was from the 2019 collection, which is interesting, because they have like things from literally last year too, which was, well, 2021. So yeah, that was my Maj bag. Let me know what you think of that. Next up, we have one of my favourite Irish designers and one of my friends, Aoife McNamara, who has the brand Aoife Ireland. And look how cute the bag is. I absolutely love it with a big bow. So I did some major damage when she released this season because it's actually my favourite season she's ever done. It's all about protecting nature and it's very girly, very cute. And I bought all of it online, literally so much. But I think I bought like four things from the collection because I was like, by the time I get to Kildare Village, really she's nearly closing. I think she closed today actually. So I was like, they're not going to have an extra small. So I went in just to say hello, but of course I didn't leave with my hands hanging. This is what I got. I got these beautiful light green satin trousers and I also got the dress version of this online. I cannot wait to wear these even with my golden goots and like t-shirts or like corsets and stuff. I got the light pink corset as well but I have so many of her corsets I just love them so I feel like I could wear them non-stop with these pants. Look at the size and they're going to be so flattering on. They have a really nice pleat in them and they're the most stunning satin fabric and the most beautiful colour. So um that is what I bought there and then she kind of gifted me a t-shirt and my Easter egg which cannot be in the haul because I have it all eaten. So she gifted me a t-shirt of my choice and I got this one that we make waves and then at the back it says inspired by nature to protect nature. Really cute. Again, this is going to look so cool with like denim jeans or shorts in the summer. Then moving on to the next pop-up that was in Irish business, Sinead Keary. So I have all of them here hanging. Let's go through them. So I got two of these bows. I'm obsessed with these bows. They're so nice with long hair, short hair, curly hair, straight hair, hair up, hair down. I got the new white um, colour and then the new lilac. There's a blue too, but they were actually sold out. Um, and these are usually 37 and they were down to 33 in the outlet or else you can buy them online with Sean 15 so that'll take some money off them too. Then I got, oh my god I have to show you these on because you're gonna die. So I bought the Becky Cami in white because I had originally bought it in, an, in a 6 but my boobs were too big for it so I had to get the 8 so I bought that. It is such a gorgeous cami because it gives you a little bit of coverage. It's not too bare on the neck. It's really handy because it goes under so many different things. And now I think this actually might be my favourite purchase out of everything that I bought. I believe it is called the Sarah blazer. And this, I got it in the cream colour. This is probably the most beautiful blazer I've ever seen. It has the double cuff detail. It is such a heavy, thick material. It has a little slit in the side and then it's closed by a satin bow. Like the whole thing is satin and then you can wear it like relaxed or like in a tight bow. Oh, it's just absolutely divine. Imagine wearing it to work, like, hello. I came here today to rule the roost. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie it in the kind of loose way, but you could do like a perfect bow as well. Now the arms are a little bit long on me, but we won't worry about that because when you put your hands up, the little cuff kind of opens, like the little slit. So, oh my God, it is just absolutely divine. Can you cope? It makes me feel like a proper woman, like a businesswoman wearing this. I think that a lot of you will say that this was your favorite purchase out of everything, but I can't wait to hear. Oh, it just looks so beautiful. Even the satin, under the, or the silk under the silk looks so beautiful. I thought it looked amazing with this under it. I'll pop in some pictures of when I tried it on. This is the other cami that I got. This is the style, the 
Lisa Cami in a size 8 and this is in the pink it comes in like a khaki as well I just love how all of her things really look like liquid when they're on and then my last Sinead Keery purchase was this navy skirt because you know me a navy and again it just looks like liquid and it has the little slit down the side and this is the Orla skirt that was 109 down to 98 euro 10 cent in Kildare Village so that is that and it's the most stunning colour this actually looks really nice with this cami like the two colours together just to add a little bit of warmth to the top of it but oh all of her pieces are just divine like I showed you the pink Victoria sweatshirt and I always say if I only get to wear one top for the rest of my life it would be that because it's just so beautiful it's and the way she described it is so true, like elevated basics. It's like your basic sweatshirt and then have a big cream satin bow on the back, it's just divine. When I'm getting married, you will see me in this outfit with my little bow and my hair and everything. It is just like, oh! And last but not least, by Sarah Keery. Sarah Keery, the makeup artist, her brand is also in Sinead Keery's shop. So they kindly gifted me some stuff from her collection. I have so many of her brushes and guys, they, they really are the best, the best. The makeup bag, which is the most beautiful purple. It's like the most stunning shade. You can fit so much makeup in it and then all the brushes go in this little side and all the brushes are the most beautiful colour, like a pink purple ombre. You would have seen me use these so many times before. And only recently she's launched some brand new additions to her collection and I can honestly say that Love Story the lipstick is going to be my wedding lipstick. It is my new go-to lipstick. I absolutely love it. The texture is incredible. The colour pig off, the way it lasts so long. It's the one I have on now and it's the one I've been wearing every day since I've gotten it. So here we have the palette of dreams which is oh so stunning so you've got eyeshadows here mattes and shimmers and then you've got highlight bronzer and blush and a really good size mirror and then also they topped me up on their eyeliners and oh my gosh the brown eyeliner is just I'm gonna have to do a tutorial soon using it because coal eyeliners can sometimes be kind of hard they're not easy to blend the color might be too pale so you to put on loads or too dark and you end up like panda eyes the brown oh my god the brown eyeliner it is just the most stunning shade of brown. It's the one that I brought to Paris and wore in all of my um, makeup selfies that I was doing. Another pink one too, actually. This one is going to the chapel. Ooh, let's put that on over this one. This one is like a little bit more of a rosy pink. Oh, wow, I really like this too. And again, the texture is just stunning. It's like hydrating and feels quite glossy, but it doesn't have a glossy finish. It has more of like a satin matte finish, but that's why it lasts so long. Absolutely gorgeous. Download the app. The app is so handy because it has a map and like the place is huge and every turn you take it looks the same as the one before. So you can find yourself going around in circles. But the map is really handy. And then what I do is I go into women, click the um, list instead of map, and then I stir the shops that I want to go to. So then I go into favourites, see the ones that I need to go to, and then as I go to them, I actually tick them off. So obviously my trip is done now, so all of mine are um, ticked off. Now just to give you a little insight of what was in the shops. So All Saints I went to with the hope of getting a new leather jacket with gold zips, they didn't have it. They had nice leather jackets there. They were ranging from like 120 or to like 200, which is quite good, because they're usually like 400. Kate Spade had some gorgeous spring bags, some nice clothes, but I mostly noticed bags. They had lots of pastels, they had some cute shapes, little animal bags and stuff. I didn't look at the prices, but there was really, really good stock in Kate Spade. Maj, oh guys. I want to say Maj was good, but for me it was bad because it was basically like me walking into a walk-in wardrobe of everything that I bought last year full price. Oh, I didn't even want to look at the price tags. I hoped that they weren't highly reduced, but if you liked anything that I wore last year, go into Maj and Sandra had a lot of it too and it is all reduced. Um, so then moving on from that, we went into Pinko. There was a lot of sparkly things, a lot of night out wear, but I wasn't on the hunt for it. So I didn't spend long in there, but they did have some nice bits. Didn't go into Reese, and I usually go in there, I don't know why I missed that. Sandra, like I said, had a few bits that I had from last year. There were some gorgeous summer dresses there. The Koopals had some really nice bits, some cool t-shirts and the jackets, belts, kind of leather shorts and stuff. Koopas had nice stuff. That Zadig and Voltaire, I found, didn't have a huge amount of new stuff. It was still kind of like wintry bits. Like they had a tank top there from like the very first time I went to Kildare, which was, or Kildare Village, which was like September of last year. So some of the 
there wasn't that much new stock there. There was some stuff that I had already or had seen there before and I found, and I know that our Zadig is usually kind of wintry and grungy anyway, but they didn't have a huge amount of summer stock there. So I definitely didn't do too much damage here. I'm really happy with everything that I bought and I have no um, buyer's remorse other than those sunglasses that I wish that I bought, but I have no regrets as in I wish I didn't buy something. But let me know what was your favorite. Let me know if you're planning a trip to Kildare Village soon what shops will you be heading to and I can't wait to chat with you in the comments make sure to like comment and subscribe guys and I will see you in the next video very soon which is a foundation review on the foundation that I have on me today so stay tuned for that